Hi, in this problem, we're going to multiply these complex numbers. We have the square root of negative 5 times the square root of negative 15. So one thing you want to make sure that you don't do is just start multiplying right away. Basically, you're not allowed, um, in general, in general, if you have the square root of a times the square root of b, um, that's not equal to the square root of a times uh, b. It doesn't always work. It only works if at least one of these is non-negative. In other words, if at least one of these is zero or positive. So if they're both negative, right, if they're both negative, um, you can't do that. So what you need to do first um, is convert these uh, into i's. So whenever you have this, this becomes this. And the reason is, let me just explain it down here. If you have the square root of negative 5, this is the square root of negative 1 times 5. And since one of these is positive, you can write this as the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 5. And the square root of negative 1 is i. In general, people don't go through this process, uh, but you should at least understand where it comes from. So generally, when you have a negative, you just put an i here and the negative goes away. Same thing here. This is i square root 15. But that's what's happening kind of behind the scenes, right? So again, this rule, this does not always work. It only works square root of a square root of b is the square root of a b if at least one of these is non-negative. So uh, in this case, 5 was positive. In other words, it's not negative, so you can do the process. Now they're both positive, so we can perform the multiplication. So i times i is i squared. And then 5 times 15 is 75. So you want to get to the point where um, at least one of them is, again, non-negative. We can simplify this a little bit. Um, this is, well, i squared is negative 1. And then the square root of 75, you can think of that as 25 times 3. Oh, and there's that rule again, right? Now we know we can write this as negative square root of 25, square root of 3. We can do that. We can break them up because they're both positive. And then the square root of 25 is 5, so this is minus 5 square root of 3. So really, really key um, to, to know that. You know, notice what happens if you, if you do it wrong. If you do it wrong, you just get the square root of 75, which ends up being 5 square root of 3. And that's, that's the wrong answer, right? So there's only one correct answer. And that would be it. So kind of an interesting problem. Uh, simple, uh, easy to mess up, but also really important because uh, if they're both negative, you can't multiply across. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.